hi all welcome to my channel today we will learn how to create a, um, a data table using bootstrap 4 so this is a demo I will show you searching pagination all functionalities available with this so let us see how to create such a data table using bootstrap 4 so open your browser and search for bootstrap data table okay data tables dot net open URL okay fine so we are going to create such a data table with search functionality uh, records per page and uh, pagination also okay fine so these are the uh, codes we have to embed in our file JavaScript HTML CSS and all we have to embed into our file so let us first create a, a test HTML file I will uh, open my D drive and create a new HTML file my bootstrap dot html okay now yes let me open this file in my editor so i can open with atom or anything i will use notepad so let us go to bootstrap so what i do is first i will uh, embed all these jquery files jquery.min. let's start with jquery 3.5.1.js so my test file i will script src paste the url and close the script tag okay now copy the second url jquery.datatable.min.js start script tag src now paste the url now close script tag okay now copy the third uh, url start script tag src paste url now close it close the script tag yes now um, what we do is um, let's go to CSS and copy the CSS link the same way bootstrap.css let's copy first okay let's inject into our file link rel style sheet now href equal paste the URL now uh, the second uh, one data tables dot bootstrap four dot css copy the url now link rel now paste the url the same way and um, uh, i'm sorry link rel equals style sheet style sheet now href is equal to we have to paste the url href we have to paste the url that's it right now css is copied J uh, javascript jquery is also copied now what we do is we will do one more thing let's copy the uh, uh, javascript here you can see that its uh, id is example the same id of our table table id also same so anyways let's copy this javascript jquery and paste it here inside script uh, type equal text or javascript now close script tag yes inside that let's paste that code okay fine now what we do is let's copy the content that means the uh, data table what we are seeing here it's uh, static uh, content is given here so let's copy that we can customize uh, as per our requirement all these content we can customize as per our requirement 
uh, don't worry uh, since it's a long uh, content it's all static as per your requirement for your project you can make it as simple as possible as dynamic as possible also so let me copy these for time being just for a demo purpose i will just copy that table and i will just paste it over here the whole table is very simple i will show you the table has an id the example that's the same id we use for our to handle uh, to connect with our uh, bootstrap and it has a header name position office age start date salary and its particular name position and salary all those details maybe it has 100 records that's why the code looks uh, long out so you don't have to worry about it so now what we do is let's uh, browse this particular file let's run this file my bootstrap dot html so let's try to open with chrome yes it works perfectly fine now right so i can search also uh, I have the page per entry 10, 25, 50 by default. It is selected as 10 and pagination also given. That's perfectly fine. So I can search software engineer. Yes, it all works fine. Searching functionality works perfectly fine. And let's see how pagination works. Third page, previous page, it all next page, it all works fine and uh, 10 records per page 50 records per it's it all works fine right let's make it 25 records per page so let us see how to customize it now okay let us see how to customize this for example by default i want uh, when i load by default this selected as 10 i would like to make it uh, selected as 50 let us change the code for that okay so all the customization we uh, do over here inside our ready function inside our data table okay whatever changes you have to whatever customization you want to do you have to make it here right so let me show you how it works okay fine what i do is uh, uh, page length page length uh, inside double quotes i will give you page length page length uh, 50 let's see 50 okay and save it and let's try it over here it's 10 now it has to change to 50 yes it's by default now it's 50 so all the customization is possible uh, like this one or records per page search criteria and pagination everything we can customize um, as per our requirement so another one uh, bigger question is how to make it dynamic right it's very easy um, if you uh, you might be working in dot net java java or uh, cold fusion any of the languages the the first thing what you have to do is go to your own body content and uh, the body instead of this uh, t body it's static values have been given right what you have to do is make it dynamic uh, looping you can do a uh, looping and uh, query uh, query from the database get the record set from the database the dynamic query and now loop it over here and um, and display and populate all the records as you as you wish so it can use this the same uh, bootstrap data table can be used with any language whether it's java dot net cold fusion any languages you can use it just make it dynamic accordingly so and one more thing what you have to do is it's all uh, calling this https url instead of that you can uh, localize it how you localize it i will show you just copy this url and go to browser and browse that particular file you can see the content right what you have to do is you can just copy uh, this content you can just copy this content and paste it uh, over to your local with uh, the same file name jquery.datadouble.min.js right so that way so uh, hope i hope uh, you enjoyed this video and um, uh, if if it sounds a work to you 
uh, please uh, make sure you join me and subscribe my channel and uh, press bell icon for notification and post your the most important thing is post your questions in the comment box okay please don't miss that so that i can reply to your uh, questions and um, and be the first who gets more tricks and tips about websites and technology field i can give you i would be i am planning to give a uh, lots of enormous um, topics i am going to handle i will be handling about websites and other related technology related stuff so make sure you get the first uh, tricks and uh, you get the notification so don't miss to subscribe and press on bell icon okay so um, hope you enjoyed the video we will see in next video thank you